Hey, welcome back. So today's video is going to be pretty short and sweet. It's uh, how I make my DIY dynamite stick props. And I've um, been asked a few times on how I make them. And uh, so I thought I'd do a quick, quick video. Uh, first of all, I use inch and a quarter by eight inch wooden dowel. Uh, and I am using, in mine, I use real cannon fuse, which looks more realistic. I've seen some people make the fuse out of uh, twine, uh, cotton covered wire, that kind of thing. And all that's fine. Uh, but I like I like the real look and also if I do a shoot where I actually want to light the fuse and have uh, some added element then that's why I have this. Uh, but just know going in once you light the fuse there is no blowing it out until it until it ends. Of course once it ends it'll just end at the at the wooden doll. Um, but there's no putting it out so there's that and then making the label I, I make mine in, in Photoshop but you can make it in any any graphics program you may be used to or um, have handy basically it's uh, dynamite 60% strength and I added danger on these this uh, I don't have the danger part on my older ones but the new ones I just added that I grabbed the uh, Hercules powder logo from the internet. Uh, it's their their vintage looking logo, but you can use any of the powders that you wanted. Uh, it's up to you. Um, the label is printed on eight and a half by eleven, but the actual size is a little smaller. Also, I print mine on on uh, craft paper just because it looks more more uh, vintage looking uh, but but I've seen people print on white paper and then maybe age it using a tea stain or a coffee stain like anything like that but I like printing mine on this so the actual label and I will give you the dimensions the actual label itself is four and a half by nine and a half. So if you make a template in Photoshop, uh, make sure you have these little printer uh, lines here so that you know or you know where you need to cut. Um, and that's what I, I do. I just uh, cut at those lines and then I have my, my printed label. And then I use this uh, Elmer's spray adhesive Spray the, the back of the label, take the, the wooden dowel, and then roll it across until it meets up in the back and has a little seam. Then it's it's pretty pretty tight on there. And then the edges you would just fold over because this still has the, the uh, adhesive. So you fold this over on both sides. And pretty much that's it. Then uh, I use an eighth inch drill, drill a little hole in the front, and uh, that's where the fuse goes in, and I usually hot glue that in. But it pulls right out if, if you need to. Um, so that's pretty much it. On this one, I made three of them, and then I used uh, gaffer's tape to tape them together like that uh, it just makes a better show of course you can use one one stick or you can use multiple sticks if uh, another thought I had was to uh, build a dynamite box the, the little wooden crates that they had and then just stack the sticks of dynamite across there thought that would be pretty cool for uh, for some photo shoot or whatever whatever we're doing and um, since I 
Oh, the other thing is, uh, as I print these on uh, my inkjet printer, obviously it's water soluble. So once the label is printed, or actually once I put it on the dynamite stick, I use the uh, crystal acry acrylic uh, paint, crystal, uh, crystal clear, and I spray the entire uh, stick of dynamite. And that seals it. It gives a, the paper a little bit darker look. Looks pretty cool, but it also seals in the uh, inkjet print which makes it permanent or permanent is you still can't get it too wet but if you're just holding it with damp hands you're, you're okay um, of course if you have a, access to a laser jet you won't have to worry about that um, since it's waterproof anyway but um, I don't have access to laser I don't don't really feel the need so this works pretty well for me and um, that's about it. Pretty, pretty quick, cool looking prop. And doesn't take much time. Obviously, not too much money either. Little doll printed label. And that's about it. Talk to you later. Bye.